When you find a tick on you, the most important thing to do is have a conversation with a primary care physician or to visit your ER to ensure that you're seen by someone, someone who can ultimately decide your treatment course and do the right thing on your behalf. Many people with classic Lyme symptoms won't develop a positive blood test for well over a week after the onset of symptoms. So don't always expect a Lyme test will be done because it may in fact not be particularly helpful and diagnosis and treatment needs to be undertaken quickly to best help the individual. Some of the symptoms with regards to Lyme disease include fever, flu-like symptoms, arthritic pain, joint pain, tired, and certainly the most telling sign of Lyme disease is the bullseye rash. There are some cases where the rash isn't as obvious, but when those symptoms are apparent in the summer, it's probably best to seek the advice of a healthcare practitioner so it can be diagnosed and treated properly. The studies have shown that if within 72 hours of awareness of a tick being embedded, if we can give a single dose of doxycycline, we can diminish the likelihood of infection down to, at least in one study, 0.4%. If a patient does have the illness with rash or the headache, uh, muscle aches and such, and we feel clinically uh, does have Lyme disease, uh, we would embark upon a treatment of doxycycline, 100 milligrams twice a day, and would treat for at least three weeks time. Most notably with doxycycline, um, there is a side effect of sun sensitivity. If this occurs in the summer and you want to enjoy the beauty of Martha's Vineyard, all pharmacists on the island are able to advise you on picking up the right sunscreen so you can be treated for your Lyme or babesiosis and still enjoy the weather outside. The other point of information that's really critical is to finish all of your antibiotics so there isn't any lingering effects from the disease itself.